you. Get out. Oh, sorry. Wrong room. Sorry. Lauren, Lauren, it's okay. Lauren, Lauren, it's okay. You're in the hospital. You're going to be okay. Lauren. What happened? You were struck by a freak bolt of lightning. But you're going to recover. You're, you're fine. What? Where? Where's the doctor? Where is he? I want to see him. The doctor's already come and gone. The doctor's been here. He <sighs> said you're going to make a full recovery. Lauren, it's a miracle. I've been so worried about you. Really? I, I got the letter that you left me. I don't blame you for anything. Mom, how could you think that, darling? Mom, no, I don't, I don't feel that way anymore. Donna. Romana? I'm I'm coming, but where where are you? Alright, still doing the hugging thing, I see. Problem? Never. So, what have you been up to? No good, I imagine. A bit of good, a bit of bad. Always fun. <laughs> I see you've been busy. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, rolled in... Yeah, I, I, I enrolled in the medical program once I got out of the hospital. I want to be a paramedic. Figured it was the best way I can make a difference here, and Mum is always going on about how I have magic hands. May as well put them to good use. Ha! Told you. Shut up. So, are you here for a friendly chat, or do you have an ulterior motive? Ah, uh, well, about that. I had a question for you. When you were being electrocuted by the swarm, did you see anything else about Romana? <laughs> wow. Ten weeks gone, and he asks a question about another woman. I'm kidding. But, no, I, I don't really remember anything. It was kind of a blur. Why? Well, do you remember that message I got on the psychic paper, Red Dress? Well, when I was fighting the swarm, for a moment I got a brief vision of Romana. I, I saw it directly into the swarm's mind. Granted, I was being turned into scrambled eggs at the time, but I still saw her. She was running in a red dress. It was blurry. We had a vision of traveling together, but I couldn't make heads or tails of when or where we were. Then later in the hospital, I got a similar vision, but it was more than that. It was, it was like she was there, speaking directly to me. Huh. Well, now that I think of it, there are a few images that stick out in my mind. Like what? Well, the red dress. And, for some reason, a, a pocket watch, and someone named uh, Joan or Janie or, uh, for some reason, the name Fred sticks out in my mind. <laughs> does that help? Doctor, does that help? Oh, Lauren, you have no idea. <laughs> I'm so much closer to finding her. <laughs> let's, let's go get her, come on! Oh, Lauren, wait. Maybe you should sit this one out. Uh, you just got out of the hospital, and what about school? Don't be stupid. School will be waiting for me when I get back. Uh, Lauren, I don't want you to come. I mean, you can't come. Not this time. If I'm right, and I usually am, you know too much already. I, I can't risk it. Don't give me that speech again. I'm serious. After all we've been through, you're so important to me, I can't afford to lose anyone important to me. Not again. You care that much about me? Of course I do. I, I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Lauren and Marie Doyle's with nothing to say. Well, I suppose you don't have to say anything. 
Everything's already been said. Except one thing. What's that? I... I love Me you. too. Well, too bad, I'm still coming with you. Uh, Lauren, Lauren, wait, wait, Lauren! I'm sorry. What? It's better this way. Doctor? What doctor? Jeez, I'm so late. Ugh. Well, this might come in handy.